The last speaker will be known to many of you, uh, known south of the border of the scourge of the English, uh, former rugby captain of Scotland and the British Islands, uh, Gavin Hastings. Ladies and gentlemen, um, Bryn, that was absolutely fantastic. May I offer you a, a very warm welcome and a hearty welcome to Scotland, especially to our uh, overseas visitors, many of whom I'm sure will have come to Scotland for the very first time. Um, Scotland is a truly wonderful place, and as Bryn has said, there's no place that he'd rather be. The humour of the Glaswegians is second to none. And I hope that many of you will get the opportunity to experience that humour over the next few days whilst you're here in Glasgow. They're going to be hosting the Commonwealth Games in four years' time. I'm wearing my Scotland Commonwealth Games tartan tie, and I certainly cannot wait for the time that the Commonwealth Games come to Scotland, and particularly Glasgow here, in four years. I was walking around the exhibition hall earlier when I met these wonderful women from America, from Arizona, and they were asking me what I was doing here today. I told them that I was the comedy act for tonight. Ladies, I've got a confession. It's actually tomorrow night. I was very keen when I was invited by Ely to address you and offer a warm Scottish welcome to each and every one of our delegates here this evening. And as someone who considers himself to be an ambassador of Scotland, I certainly hope that Glasgow meets all your hopes and expectations and that the second World Parkinson's Congress provides an outlet and a forum for much learning and for talking. You might ask yourself why a former captain of Scotland and the British Lions is addressing you tonight. Well, a wee bit more of that in a couple of minutes' time. But first of all, I'm a great believer in teamwork. That was a team I played with 15, 14 other guys in my team of 15. I once captained a team from Scotland, England, Ireland and Wales, representatives. This group of 30 men was brought together. We were called a team. And within a few short days, we had to go and play against the very best sides in the world in the Southern Hemisphere, Australia, South Africa, and New Zealand and they called us a team we hadn't played a game yet it's a bit like coming together from all the countries that are represented here today that we've come together with this common denominator of finding a cure for Parkinson's please make the most of your time here in Scotland and after the success of the first Congress three years ago let's just take this on to the next level and I wish you all the success. Some 400 miles south of here, in a few days' time, I was listening to all the American voices. Can I have a show of hands from everyone in the audience tonight from America? A show of hands, please. Thank you very much. And another show of hands from all these people from Europe. Excellent. Now, I don't know, but I'm sure many of you will realize that in three days' time, the Ryder Cup, this battle of America, uh, finest American golfers versus the finest golfers from the continent of Europe. And I'm afraid after two years ago when the Americans hammered the European team in Valhalla in Kentucky, we have Captain Courageous, the Scotsman, Captain Colin Montgomery, to lead our troops from the front in three days' time. He greeted the American team when they arrived in Cardiff yesterday. It was absolutely brilliant. He looked each and every one of them in the eye, and I know what he was thinking. We are going to have you. Well, let's have the same thought about Parkinson's this year. We are going to have you. Let's make it our mission. We, as Bruna said, are going to have you. Can I just say to Tony, and to Pamela, your videos were absolutely inspirational. They were fantastic. And I really hope that they go on and represent one or two of the charities, maybe the American charity, the Parkinson's UK charity here. I do genuinely think they were utterly brilliant. And I congratulate not only the winners, but to everybody else that con contributed with a, with a video. 
There was another reason that I wanted to stand up here today. My wife was diagnosed with Parkinson's seven years ago at the age of 39. And today we've gone public. I've taken part in a couple of uh, interviews with television um, to be shown on the news channels this evening. And as someone that has been used for 10 or 12 years to have been in the public eye, there are some things that you do like to keep quite private. And as a family, my wife and I, particularly over the last seven years, decided that apart from our friends and, and obviously family, that we didn't really feel the need to tell the public at large. It was our situation. Indeed, it was only last evening that we decided to tell our two children about Diane's condition. And I wasn't really looking forward to last night as we sat down at the dining table in the, in the kitchen. And I said to Diane, come on, love, off you go and tell her. And I had tears welling up in my eyes but Anne, in her calm and measured way, just told the situation and what was unique about her situation. And she did it in an unfussed way, so much so that the children just took it on board and said, yeah, mum, we've seen you shaking a few times. We know you walk funny, but we just think that's the way you do it. It is the way that mum does it, and that's the way that she continues to do it. But she continues to be a brilliant mum to her children. And that is absolutely fantastic. Two minutes after that, they knew we were coming through here today. And they said, could you bring us back some of these rubber wristbands? They're bound to have them. They want to give them to all their mates at school. And that's what it's all about. And I think the awareness from the next few days. And I hope that I have done my little bit today to raise the awareness of, of Parkinson's. I know that Stanley Fan had pledged um, and talked about this... Uh, Global Parkinson's Pledge. I have signed mine this evening. Do not leave here this week without signing it. Please get all your friends and all your family and everyone that you know to sign this. Never mind waiting three years for one million people to sign this. Let's get one million people signing this by the end of the year. Bryn has talked about urgency. <clears throat> I know I'm preaching to the converted, ladies and gentlemen, when I say that Parkinson's doesn't discriminate between rich and poor, black and white, old and young. But one thing we can have is a positive attitude. And I'm delighted to have met so many people here today with that attitude. Please keep it up, and together we will find a cure for Parkinson's. Thank you very much indeed.